Hey daughters, welcome back to my channel. Okay, okay, I'm just kidding. That's that love and hip hop getting into me. But hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna to be doing an affordable smoky eye, the one that I had in my high puff video. And let's get right into it. So since I can't find the perfect brown to blend out a smoky eye for me, I go ahead and use my bronzer. So this is what happened when people always ask, oh, Easy, why are you so late? Why do you take forever to get ready? Because I'm just feeling myself when I'm doing my makeup. Sorry. Okay, yeah, that rant. <laughs> Something serious. Okay, so after I use my bronzer, I go in with my Inglot 335 eyeshadow and I pat it towards my brow and basically just blow this eyeshadow out. Because it doesn't need to be perfect because I'm going in with this darker color from ColourPop called Shameless. It's like a black, a black eyeshadow with green glitter in it and it is so beautiful. I have to use a smaller brush because I have small lids and I kind of have, on some days I have like hooded eyes. I don't know what's wrong. But yeah, it's easier to work with and I have less fallout when I use a smaller brush. So after I've applied the darker color, I go in with ColourPop So Quiche and put it in the middle with my finger because when I do that, it gets all the glitter and I want this to be so sparkly and pretty. It kind of looks like a Nigerian flag. Then I take my favorite brown eyeshadow from the Wet n Wild palette and I use my favorite flat blending brush from morphe which is the b27 brush and i just blend those two colors together everything I did to my upper lid I'm going to apply them to my lower lid kind of got some glitter in my eye but everything is all good this look is basically all about blending because what I will not do is stand there with unblended eyeshadow I will not okay somebody need to come take my computer away from me I'm playing way too much my baby, my baby, my baby. Going back into that Wet n Wild palette, I'm going to use that cream eyeshadow to open up my eyes. So everyone always asks me where I get my eyelashes and that's the brand that I use. You can find them at any beauty supply store. Those are my favorite and they're only $1.99. And that tool that I'm using to apply my eyelashes, I literally just found them in my sister's dissecting um, tools. I don't know. But yeah, she let me have them and they, were, they make it so easy to apply eyelashes. Then I go in with some mascara just to smoke it out some more and let my eyeballs pop out more. And I clean up a little bit of the mascara that got on my lower lid and I'm checking myself out. Literally have the same face routine. I go in with the MAC Raisin Blush and then I go in with the e.l.f. Cosmetics Highlighter in Sunkiss. And I go in with Becca Opal Highlighter on top. And I put a little bit too much as usual and I clean it up. So for my lip liner, I got this from the beauty supply store. It's called Nikita, I think. I'll put it in a description box, but it's a dark brown lip liner and my favorite lipstick by Milani in Nude. And then I go on top of that with the lip gloss also in Nude by Milani. The combo is so beautiful. I love that lip gloss. That lip gloss is so long lasting, like I can drink everything and eat whatever and that lip gloss is still on and i would just like to thank you all for tuning in to my channel and this video i really appreciate all the love that i've been getting lately thank you so much and remember to rate comment and subscribe and see you in my next video
Okay, I don't know why my chair is going all the way down with the... Phew. Okay. 